What's up guys, it's Crimson Darth Ball, back with another review. Today I'm looking at the mission series Star Wars Rebels, Zeb, and Stormtrooper 2-pack. Um, this pack is awesome. I'm loving the show. Um, they can't do a better job with the show. But taking a look at the uh, Stormtrooper first. Oh, we got excellent sculpting details on him. Um, very good face sculpt. Um, looks very screen accurate to the show. Comes with a blaster that warps really, really, really easily. Um, and it is the basic five points of articulation. Which, uh, it's not too bad. But it's going to be hard if we want to make Rebels die wrong. So let's just say that. <laughs> Now here is Zeb's gun slash staff, electro staff. Um, definitely pretty cool. I kind of wish this piece was sculpted down so he could hold it more like a gun. But because uh, every time you put it in his hand, it's pretty loose and you can't really aim it. It's just kind of kind of weird. I think maybe if you flip it, it'll look good. Yeah. But, uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, Zeb looks awesome. He looks just like that Macquarie concept. And, uh, looks again, looks very screen accurate. Got some side details on the arm. I love this piece on his, uh, shoulder pad. It looks like a shark. And, uh, he's the tough man of the group. Definitely a very cool character. I didn't like him too much at first, but uh, I'm warming up to him, and I think he is really cool. And uh, he's got all the heart, basically. But yeah, he's got the swivel arms, swivel legs. The one thing I hate about the five points line is this like weird U channel that you get, and uh, it's not too bad on Zeb actually. And the stormtrooper, I don't really notice it. They kind of blended it into the armor, and that looks great. Um, I'd definitely give this pack a 10 out of 10. Um, it looks awesome. And uh, I'm really liking these Rebels figures. They are not bad. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Crimson Darth Maul, signing out.